Once you've downloaded the CSV file template, you are now ready to enter in your student data. If you've not yet downloaded the CSV file, please refer to our previous video. I will now talk you through which fields need to be entered and which fields can be kept blank but not deleted. In column A, you will enter the letter A for add. Column B is for internal use only. Please do not delete this column. Column C is for user type and you will add S for student. Column D is the field for your student's username. You may want to use an existing username that your student is already familiar with from other school systems. Alternatively, simply put first name and surname with no spaces. Please note you will need to remove any special characters such as apostrophes or hyphens. Column E is where you'll enter in the password. In this example, we're just going to use the word password. Column F can be kept blank, but please do not delete this field. In column G, enter in the student's first name. In column H, you can enter a middle name, but this isn't a required field, so you can leave it blank, but please do not delete it. If you have two students with the same first name and last name, you may wish to use this field as a form of differentiation. Column I is where you enter in the student's surname. Please note you need to remove special characters such as apostrophes and hyphens. Columns J, K, L and M are not mandatory fields. You can leave them blank, but please do not delete them. The remaining columns can be used to group your students into teaching groups, perhaps by year or set. In this example, we will create two groups, year 10 and year 11. In this example, Henry will be in the year 10 group. Please enter the word yes for the group you would like that student to be part of. Hannah will go into group year 11. Please note students can be in more than one group. Please ensure that you save your completed CSV file on your local computer prior to uploading. Now that you've entered in your student data, you are now ready to upload the file into the Dynamic Learning System.